is up guys? We are headed to the La Jolla Farmer's Market. So I'm just gonna have a chill day, show you guys the La Jolla Farmer's Market. Should be a good time. Mana's here, Jared's here, Reagan's here, and Maria. The whole gang. Thank you. Can you get yourself a drink? Is that the, I thought you were Jared. Watching. What are you gonna get? <laughs> wow. Go. I'm gonna get, get a coffee? sweater. Can you get a sweater? It's freezing. And a nice coffee once we what is this one? Cream cheese. <laughs> wait, 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 everyone should die. Pistachio Whoa. filled. Hmm. Can you hold it for a sec? I want to do this bite. Oh, my <laughs> <laughs> We got some $17 orange juice. Did you guys have fun at the farmer's market? I did. Yeah. That was good. That's cute. Rest of the plans for Sunday. Get to the gym. Tonight is the House of Dragons finale. Gonna watch that, make some food. The sun is finally kind of coming out. It's kind of been cloudy though. It's, it was sunnier where we are. Yeah. All right, we are back from, the wind keeps closing this. Stay open. Back from uh, the farmer's market, like I mentioned. Gonna head to the gym. Pretty tired today, actually, so I'm not really sure where I'm gonna hit at the gym, but we'll get in there, figure something out. Probably do some cardio to get started. <laughs> I wanna put some of the fresh orange juice from the farmer's market in the pre-workout, but the pre-workout is bubblegum flavor. Oh. I feel like bubblegum and orange juice just don't go well together. You're completely in the shot. <laughs> the whole shot, you're just down here like this. Like completely in it. Hopefully this gives me some energy. Figure it out, get a good workout in. I've been doing a lot of just meditation in the gym recently, like 15 minutes, either in the sun or in the red room, and that's been really nice. So definitely I wanna get some meditation in today. Been trying to do that daily, at least 15 minutes. Um, no music, just find a quiet spot and let the thoughts flow and kind of make today's workout like a full rounded you know, exercise. Not just body, but also the mind get everything right for the week coming. Bring my iPhone along, leave the camera behind. I'm gonna try out the classic like TikTok influencer where they put the microphone on their hat or like the gym bro. See how this works, see how this audio sounds. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, so like before my workout, I was trying to share with you guys um, just like my mindset with fitness and how that's been going. And I really was just drawing blanks. I was drawing blanks on everything. And then when I was in the gym, of course I got inspiration and was able to come, come up with more like concise thoughts. 
my biggest takeaway is a uh, growing up fitness for me was just all about the body you know getting into the gym moving weights recently within like the past year i would say this year i've been trying to focus more on the mind as well so rather than just having the body side having two sides to the coin for me personally like i slip so fast out of my best mindset like when i'm meditating getting into the gym hitting the sauna hit the ice bath i'm in such a good like flow state and i'm just so aware of my thoughts and like where i'm at i'm just in my being in high school like my friends can vouch for me on this like i would just all work out um it was you know not really like a yoga guy or like meditating it was really just a lot of you know how much weight can you lift right now more than ever i feel like it's important to be practicing that mental side of your body with so much going on in the world everything always feels so hostile especially this past year or two years it can be so easy to like just default into aggression or a default into hostility the default at least in the u.s and where i'm at can tend to be like standoffish and hostile whereas when i'm focused on my mind and focused on my body i feel way more open and you know holding eye contact with people um, it's just more comfortable smiling at people which sounds so simple to do but i think when you start to work on the mental side of yourself meditation listening to your body aligning your thoughts and just giving your brain time to relax and flow it translates way more into the real world than you would expect it's almost like a blind spot you know like how do you know what's there until you practice it and I've always felt very connected with my body because I'm always moving, being athletic. Ever since I've started my meditation practices, I see like this new slice in myself, like a, a slice of a pie, you know, that I'm open to and more aware of. And it feels like the body is more full. It was just a blind spot that was there in my life that is now opened up a bit more. And it's definitely a daily practice. Um, you know, even though I've done a bunch of meditating, like it can go away like that, like two days, three days without it. I can just feel it getting clogged up like a drain in my body. I'm like, all right, I just need to sit for like 15, 30 minutes, no music, nothing, and just let my thoughts clear out and like realign. The best phrase I heard about meditation is that it allows you to tell yourself the story that you want to be told. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys as I'm putting away my Trader Joe's. And um, give it a shot. You don't know what blind spots you have put up until you start to break them down. Such an incredible day. I was reflecting after the gym about growing up on the East Coast. Um, you know, we have summer, I was, I'm from Pennsylvania, so we have all the seasons. It's just incredible here. I really forget how great it is just to have consistently nice weather, especially now during summer. And I hate to sound like, oh, California, nice weather, but it's just so refreshing. Going around town, seeing everybody outside active, in good health, I really feed off that and I was feeding off that today. I just like, I just, uh, I just had a moment. Things I want to do though, I want to get out surfing more. I really want to go out and enjoy some of the hikes, just be out in nature. Um, it's so easy just to like look at all of it and be like, oh, it's so great to be here, but to actually go out and, and be in nature. And it's so fleeting. Like also another thought, like it just goes by too fast. Um, it's crazy. It's a pretty incredible spot to be and a lot to reflect on, ups and downs, pros and cons. The idea of living here forever or moving back or moving somewhere else. These are all things I want to talk about with you guys. So I appreciate you watching today's video. Um, just a nice Sunday. Got some work in here. You know, a new week is coming up. And so I want to crush this week, close some more projects, figure out, get one more step closer to my dreams. This has been another episode of Madison the Guy. To whoever you are, wherever you're from, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Please subscribe. Please like. Peace. Are you watching the vlog? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't get through here. There it is. God damn, I love you.